Electric race cars don't have to look like your fossil fueled cousins. Sometimes you can wipe the slate clean and come up with something completely different, like a four-wheel drive dragster. That's what I saw on the track in Memphis, and it was fast. So I call this segment, Juice. What we have here is the Orange Juice Dragster, built by Lawless Industries. Uh, Lawless Industries builds electric uh, high efficiency drive systems and we've taken some of our technology and tried to push it to the limit. So we needed a car and a test bed to do that and we wanted something that was fun. What we started with was a standard uh, alcohol type dragster chassis. It's a mid 80s vintage. Uh, we chopped the front end off and we chopped the rear end off. We shortened it, lightened it, installed 60 uh, off the shelf batteries that you'd find in a Harley Davidson as a starting battery or in a jet ski or something like that. We tied them together in a series parallel configuration to give us 2,600 amps at 240 volts. We feed that to two motor controllers that have a maximum output of 2,000 amps each. That goes to eight permanent magnet motors. We have four-wheel drive on the back, so this is a six-wheel dragster. Two motors powering each wheel, uh, each motor capable of about 30 to 35 horsepower. We have about 360 horsepower uh, capability. The trick is to keep that to the end of the track. We're ready to take a shot at the 240 volt dragster record that's, that's uh, stood since the year 2000. We want to run a 10.54 seconds in the quarter mile or better. Drives like a regular electric vehicle like you would think a golf cart would drive. It weighs about 1,500 pounds, so it's, it's not very heavy. It's lighter than most dragsters. The nice thing about electric motors are they have full torque from zero RPM. So we can start this off the line with no moving parts and instantly have full power. I hope I get some good traction today, and if we get good traction, we'll be okay. That would be uh, right on, man. that would be the fastest quarter mile ever run with lead acid batteries. So we're real excited. We've been waiting seven years for this. One more run. We got to back it up. All right, right on. <laughs> One more, buddy. Yeah, One more. Baby. So that's what a thousand amps does. That's why we bring spares. So what he's going is going through. There's eight motors. He's going to pull out the brush gear on every motor because we had a damaged unit. And again, nothing abnormal, but he's going to go through every one and make sure that. All the brushes are moving freely, everything's in line, all the motors are working correct. This is what burned up on the inside motor. I pulled this whole piece out. Unfortunately, we haven't had time to be tested because of the uh, short notice of our trip. And uh, we're going to put it in now and give it a shot. The car is going to be fully charged, turned up all the way. We're going to go for 9.99 seconds. Brush gear is not up to snuff, obviously. Now we know that the hard way. There's probably not much left of it anyway, so we don't have to worry about it. Pushing it to the limit, man. We'll be back. We're happy. We'll be happy. 